Welcome to the Kennedy Report. I'm Kennedy Hall. So not only is Pope Francis sitting and watching ceremonies where pagan shaman type figures call on the spirit realm while he's here in Canada. These, uh, these are unfamiliar uh, types of things that we're not used to. Uh, should we be concerned about this? Should we be worried? Should we be like, uh, uh, what do we? Well, I, it, if, because it's, if you're unfamiliar with it, it might make you a bit nervous the first time, but there are, uh, the, you know, what the Holy Fathers, Pope Francis said the other day, is that we take symbols from all cultures and give them a Christological interpretation. So, if, for example, when people pray to the Great Spirit, they may not have the idea of the Trinity that we have, but we can choose to interpret it that way. So, for example, when Pope John Paul came in 1980... Apparently he's also angered leftists. Now, one way that he angered leftists was by not apologizing enough. I actually predicted that would happen on Taylor Marshall's show, if you want to check that out. But another way is apparently Pope Francis's mass that he did out west the other day was a traditional mass, and one priest actually said it was like being transported back to the 1950s. We're going to go to that clip in a second. But what's very interesting is that he didn't actually do a traditional mass. Pope Francis did, obviously did not perform or celebrate a traditional Latin mass or a traditional mass at all. What happened out west was a Novus Ordo Mass with like 12 priests up on the altar. Maybe there were only four or five. I don't know who, who's, who's to say these days. And they did a basic Novus Ordo Mass and they did pretty boomer Vatican II hymns. Um, there were a thousand Eucharistic ministers. I think there were 45 or something like that. A bunch of them were lay people, of course. And all that happened in Latin was the consecration prayers. I believe it was, I think they call it Eucharistic Prayer 3, which is, I believe, the Roman canon. That happened in Latin. In corpus meum, quod provobis tradetur. Similimodo, modo, usquam cenatum est, accipiens calicem, et tibi gratias agens benedixit, dedique discipulis suis dicens, accipite et bibite ex eo omnes, hic est enim calic sanguinis mei, novi et eterni testamenti, qui provobis et promultis e fundetur in remissionem peccatorum, hoc facite in meam commemoration. And apparently that, in and of itself, was enough to really anger this priest. I don't know what to say. Um, I, <laughs> I, I felt like I was transported back into the 1950s. Um, this liturgy reflected little of indigenous cultures. There was no celebration of indigenous uh, ways of praying and and uh, practice of faith. Um. Well, there you have it. Uh, Pope Francis did a traditional 1950s thing. That was not what the 1950s looked like at all, liturgically. It makes, it makes me wonder. I mean, you have all these liberal priests like this uh, Father Winkler uh, who are clearly anti-traditional, but they don't even know what traditionalism is. He thinks that because there were some bishops who wore decent vestments and said a few prayers in Latin, that that somehow constitutes what the faith was like in 1950. He has no idea what it was like in 1950. It's funny, I'm probably 30 years younger than him, or 20 years, maybe he's in his 50s. I have a better idea of what Catholicism in the 1950s is like, because I actually go to the traditional mass. Whereas this fellow, who's an ordained priest of Jesus Christ, went through seminary, I imagine, for seven, eight years, he has such a caricature knowledge of the faith, even though he's a priest of the Catholic Church, that he believes that in the 1950s, it was basically the Novus Ordo, except there was like one prayer in Latin. It's astonishing. 
This is a belief that a lot of Catholics have. They think that the new Mass is just simply the Mass translated. Couldn't be further from the truth. There's one more clip here, and this is a very short one, but it shows you. People were looking for a break from tradition. And this reporter, commenting on Catholic topics, says exactly that. Take a look. Of tradition can, can be a root that can go up through the branches to the fruit on the end of the tree. But that very significantly he spoke about building a new history, about uh, the importance of not being trapped in tradition. And of, and of course this was a, a traditional mass, uh, a very traditional homily. So it was interesting to have those words, but we didn't see, we didn't see uh, a, a break in any way with, with tradition so far. There are, I think there's opportunities that could have been, certainly could have been made in, in this that weren't. Final comments. One, what have we learned? Well, we've learned that, let's be honest, uh, lots of Catholic priests in the church, they hate tradition. Uh, we've also learned that Catholic priests like this Father Winkler fella doesn't understand Catholicism, yet he has charge over souls, which is a scary thing. But there's one last comment I want to say. The comments from Father Winkler were essentially that Pope Francis had the opportunity to do something like an indigenous mass, an indigenous ritual. Well, I'm going to challenge that. The mass is indigenous. It's indigenous to Rome. <laughs> uh, but with all joking aside... There is no such thing as a, a organic liturgy that is exactly like one particular culture in the history of the church. And I'm going to explain what I mean by that. Even if you go back to the most ancient of traditions, the Roman liturgy, the Greek liturgies, whatever, even if they share a language, they're actually already a mix of the cultures that came before them. The Semitic culture, the Hebrew culture with the Psalms, there's Greek influence. There's Roman influence. There is influence from Aramaic as well, as far as the culture is concerned. There's influence that is geographically unique to some areas, and in some places makes no sense. I am an Italian citizen. I've spent lots of time in Italy. Um, I have never once felt in a Roman Catholic liturgy like I was doing something Italian, even though it's from Rome. The, the Mass is not a cultural artifact. It is a perfect representation, historically, of being at Calvary, of being at the Last Supper, at being at the consummation of the sacrifice. That is the point. It's not indigenous, it's not Italian, it's not Irish, it is Catholic, it is universal. The reason why the ancestors of all the indigenous people in Canada today who are Catholic embrace the faith is not because the missionaries presented them something indigenous, it's because they presented them something that would save their souls. Well, pray for Canada, pray for Pope Francis, and pray for a restoration of faith for Indigenous Canadians, because we do have a wonderful history of Catholicism in this country, and I would like to see that recaptured. Until next time, this has been the Kennedy Report, until, and this has been the Kennedy Report until next time. God bless. I messed that up. It must be my first time. Oh.